Hey yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Twy here. Today we are going to recap the Eye of Acacia, see what they got in store for us on the next coming update. Let's get it popping. Okay, so this is to, well, let's say, reduce the FOMO that will be coming out with otherwise Aegir coming out though straight week after, so people will have time to prepare when T4 comes out that their characters will be done the moment the, the whole raid hits. That's kind of nice. Okay, now this honestly doesn't make much sense because you're not going to use it in the first week anyway. The only thing that will change is the fact that you can enter the raid. And knowing that if tier 4 comes out, nobody will be using the arc passive then anyway because there's no big use on the whole thing anyway. The only thing that changes is the amount of levels that you can acquire within a certain amount of time. Therefore, the raid will become easier because your damage increases. I don't see any other benefit. So here's the thing, Behemoth on the Korean version 1640, but since it has been released for 1620, that allows a lot of people to get the weapon transcend as fast as possible. However, I would then think, hey, would then the drafts be the same so we can get our goal to then hone our characters a little bit faster? That would be very, very welcome. This mother... 1620 item level requirement. Of course they did. And the team updated now, if I had to give a proposition, don't. Just give us the thing that the Koreans got, because after the whole thing, is that going to change back? Is it going to go back to 1640? They haven't announced anything on this. Yeah. Okay, the TLDR for this is normally you get your part of your transcendence after you clear Theomine Gate 3. This also means that the moment you hit 1630, you will be most likely get gay kept because they want reclear parties. The only way that you can see that there's a reclear party is the fact that you have at least 20 flowers on something. Now, when they change this, it will allow you to get all of the damage that is necessary and upgrades before that because if you now clear Theomine on gate 3, even on normal mode, you will be able to unlock everything, which is very good. The same thing then goes for if you get yourself onto both normal and hard mode of Voldus, you get yourself a legendary elixir, which makes it so much easier to get yourself your 40 set, even though the system is still a little bit caca. You will be able to get the whole set very fast, which then reduces the gatekeeping by a mile. Now, this is speaking volumes as to how much the Chinese server influences our current version. Because these are changes that the Chinese server has already opted and just said, no, uh, we're to send, we're not going to listen to nothing. We're going to take our own place. And this is probably one of the reasons why we are getting something similar. Now, I want to drop a few things that might want to help us here as well. Because let's face it, there will be one guardian that will be absolutely useless. And that will be Vesco. Because that, that Guardian is at 1630. Now, knowing that everybody will jump from 1620 to 1640, which will then net you with the Kaliligos boss, meaning that Vesco will be absolutely useless. Now, if I would be a producer and I want to close that gap between all the new players, then it might be beneficial for them to have something to increase. Knowing that Gargadeth drops... 12 leap stones and Vesco drops 24. It seems pretty obvious that if I would say Sonavel starts from 1580, make Gargadeth not 1610 but 1600, and then get Vesco at least a 1610. So there is a way easier way to get your characters from 1610 to your 1620s because 1610 to 1620 is an absolute hassle, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if they would change that, it might become a little bit easier and hopefully they will. So I gotta say TLDR, a pretty nice patch behemoth, something that I am looking forward to. Looks like a fun raid, not the hardest. It will be hard to find a full team. However, with more people getting there, it might be easier to get yourself a full team. The one thing that I like even more is the fact that they are changing once again elixirs and transcendence for the better, at least on its acquisition. Now, to complete these systems, I think it is still an absolute hassle because it costs gold and in my honest opinion would be so much better, and I mean so much better if the system would only cost silver. Now, everybody is yapping how RNG the system is, which in a fact is true. 
However, it would not be as much of a thorn in everybody's eyes if it would only cost silver. So if I would have to opt, the one thing that I would definitely change within now and a half year, because ultimately I think this will happen anyway, then I would change those systems. So it is like, let's say a fun mini game where you can just keep rolling whatever and try to maximize all of it, your character's potential. That being said, let me know down into the comments, what do you guys think about this upcoming update? I am pretty hyped and I am going to think about how I am going to prepare for tier four. That video will be up next, even before I'm going to show you guys anything more onto the tier four side coming from Korea. Once again, have a great night and I will see you guys next time. Peace.